How's it going folks? As promised, our Bass Lake video is coming at you guys right now. My dad got skunked fishing there as a little kid, so he always wanted revenge out there at Bass Lake. So he took a little family vacation out there with some family and stuff and had an absolute blast. So Bass Lake is a lake that I wasn't too familiar with. It's over by like the Fresno area up in the mountains right there by Yosemite National Park. Beautiful area, beautiful scenery, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Everything they do up there is amazing. The reason it's called Bass Lake is because there was a lumber company that used to work up there. There's old pictures of dudes with these massive trees that they would cut out there, really gigantic trees, and uh, the industry was big. So what ended up happening is one of the lumber companies up there accidentally poisoned the entire lake, killed all the fish out of it, and made it toxic. So the federal government came in and they demanded that that company uh, go ahead, clean out the lake, drain it, fill it back up, and stock it with fish again to replace what they did. And the first fish that they decided to stock in there was, of course, bass. So the name came along, Bass Lake, and it's stuck ever since. Beautiful scenery, beautiful lake, awesome fishing. You can't beat it. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. This is where we're parking at. Doesn't get any better than that. Look at that. That's how you park right there. It's closed, isn't it? <laughs> That's so nobody can get in there and steal my stuff. Look at this side. You can't open that door either. Only one door you can open. Is that chair nice? I need one of these for the house. <laughs> After a long day fishing, you got sea legs. So this is Bass Lake. I've been wanting to get out here since I was a kid. I haven't been here in 30 years, maybe. It's gonna be interesting to see if we can get on some bass. Water looks a little bit on the muddy side due to the rain. We'll try for kokanee, maybe trout, see what happens, but bass is the main thing. It's kind of cold. Water temperature is gonna be in the 40s, so it's gonna be tough, but we're gonna see if we can get on those bass. They're probably really deep. I'm thinking 20 to 30 feet deep because the water is really cold. So I don't know. Let's see if we can do it. All right. First fish of the trip. We weren't even expecting anything yet. That looks like a big spotted bass to me. Check if he's got a patch on his tongue. Yep. It's a spotted bass then. Spotted bass right there. Wow. That's it's probably a... three pounds. Beautiful looking bass. We came out here and uh, weren't sure if we were going to get any bites. Uh, the temperature is 45 degrees for the water. Well, we knew we were going to be able to catch him, but we just didn't know at what depth. And uh, he's sitting at about 15 feet of water. Really nice fish. I've always wanted to come back to Bass Lake and get my revenge. I used to come as a kid really young and never really knew how to catch bass. But We're going to have to put him on scale. Let's do it. 2.3. That's a good size spot. He's a 2.3. When we were in Missouri, we were catching him about this size, right? I think you caught one over three. Yeah, but so. that's still, man, for spotted, that's one heck of a spotted bass right there beautiful nice work proud of this one yeah you know, throw them in the live well um, get a couple of them so we can take some pictures i'm just a hard fighter yeah he's a hard fighter wow these fish are solid we keep doing pretty good in the tournament Oh man, Senior's on fire. Well, that's about a two and a half pounder right there. Maybe pushing three. That one's a little bigger than the last guy. We're on them, guys. We're on them. We didn't think we were going to get them. We were nervous that it was going to be too cold out here, but it turns out they're biting pretty good. It feels pretty good. I thought I was stuck at first. Holy smokes. Oh my. Look at that sp spotted bass right there, folks. That's by far my PB. I don't think I caught one this big over at Table Rock. Look at that, full of eggs. Oh my goodness. They're not uh, making beds yet, right? So no, they're no, they're, they're not. Long. They're not making beds yet. Be yeah, tooth, long long. Yep, tooth patch. I gotta get a weight on this fish. Holy smokes. This is a tank. Oh yeah, 3.48, 3.5. A 3.5. Three and a half pound spotted bass. Jeez, that's nice. I remember you caught one in a table rock that was around a little over three also. I'm gonna have to take a picture of this bass too. This is, that's my PV spotted bass. We don't have spotted bass in Nevada. 
and that not very many places close to us have spotted bass. So this is an absolute tank of one. We barely ever get to catch him. And uh, he put up one heck of a fight. I thought I was stuck at first. I was lifting, like it's on the GoPro. I was lifting and didn't even realize and I just kept pulling. Oh, I got one, I got one. He started running. This fish looks, he looks long. We're gonna get a quick yeah. measurement before. A long him. bass is usually about 21, 22 inches. But yeah, the, the largies that are 20 inches are big. Uh, he's, he's about 19 and three quarters. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. That was awesome. Wow, he's fighting weird. He's fighting weird. Oh, big oh. old trout. Oh, oh my, God. my goodness. There's dinner, Holy baby. Smokes. There's dinner. Yeah, <laughs> that's a big trout. This might be my PB. That would explain why we've been getting bites and they were not hooking up, huh? Like those weird nibbly bites. Yeah, he is. Look at his he colors. Is huge. That's a good fish. Here, there's the measure right there. Just don't let him flop over. 20. 20 incher? Little, little over 20. Little over 20, 20 inch. Oh, nice fish. Woo! <laughs> Alright guys, we got these big spotted bass right here. You can see the gut on this one. There's the PB, three and a half pounder. Here's another nice one we caught today, so. We're gonna let them go. We just took pictures with them, so they might need a little bit of love and care, but we'll see. All right, there you go, bud. Yep, swam off free. Okay, here we go. That's one big fish right there. Here we go. There it goes. Oh, yeah. He was good. We got this one. This little guy. It's a beauty. Yep. So really quick, if you don't know what a spotted bass is, they look like largies a lot, but their color pattern's a little bit different. And on their tongue in there, you might be able to see it slightly. There's a little patch of teeth in their tongue and their mouths are smaller so it is not a large mouth bass these are spotted bass and uh we don't have a lot of them in nevada so it's cool to catch them whenever we can beast well, that guy does not get to go home nope that's so dinner good. tonight catch and cook yep there go my big, glasses big uh rainbow trout yep beautiful fish so we're out here just barbecuing he's sipping are they blue the mountains are blue they are blue Getting that goddamn salad going. So what do you think about today? Oh, it was great. Great fishing. Great lake. It's beautiful out here. Uh, a little bit cold, but it's nice. Uh, it's still crazy because we were at Lake Havasu. Got all the nice hot weather and partying in and everything. And then we're back out to cold weather again. So We, we thought it was uh, cold water over there at Havasu. It was, what, 60? Like 62 58 degrees probably 50. and now we're in what 47 47 if you guys don't know the bass up here though are used to colder weather and colder water especially like spotted bass and stuff but down in havasu with the water getting always in the mid 80s throughout the year and stuff uh 58 degrees is a little bit on the cold side but up here i guess 47 the bass still bite really well if it was 47 degrees in lake havasu you wouldn't catch anything i feel like we conquered bass lake Caught Already? some nice ones. Yeah. Big 15 cut. pound bag, probably. The the last part now is the kokanee salmon. We're yeah, gonna we're going to try to get kokanee. What about Millerton Lake? We'll probably try that tomorrow or the next day. Yeah. Millerton. We'll try out some of those lakes. Those boulders in the middle are calling my name. <laughs> Spilled the Cheetos. <laughs> we made a quick pit stop down here to Hensley Lake in California. We got a little tip from a friend saying that uh, they think the fishing should be pretty good down here. So we made a quick run to fish, and so far it's looking absolutely terrible. <laughs> One thing is, this lake right here, the water fluctuates massively at this lake. And uh, just a couple months ago, the water level was literally probably 7% capacity. It's almost like an Isabella story, right? It jumped up majorly on our graphs. It looks like the water's down about 30 feet still from being at full capacity. But I saw a thing on YouTube, a little short, showing over the last five years the water level of this place and it constantly fills up, drains down, fills up, drains down. And I'm pretty sure that with all the rain, all the snow up in the mountains above, that this lake probably will continue to rise and uh, get pretty much full here not not too long from now. 
But the problem is with all this rain and everything, the water's still cold. It's really muddy and stuff. I'm sure it's usually murky, but it's pretty muddy right now and cold. So that doesn't make for great fishing conditions. Seeing you're up there on the live scope, keep seeing fish or seeing stuff. And they're either crappie or bluegill, but they're not biting anything. So this lake's looking like it might be the first one of the year to skunk us. Now there's always a couple trips a year where the fishing absolutely is just terrible and we get skunked, but it's pretty rare. So... We'll see, we're gonna try to catch something here. But Hensley Lake's not looking too hot right now. I'm sure that there's some bass really deep and if we took our time and just fished real slow and methodical, we might be able to pluck one or two off, but that's pretty boring fishing. And we like trying to get some action. So we're gonna continue to look around, but scenery's absolutely gorgeous out here in California. All these nice green rolling hills and stuff. We're like out here in paradise. We've seen some turkey. Some deer, all kinds of wildlife out here, all these gophers and stuff running around the mountains and quail and stuff. Great time though, bunch of birds, but these fish, these dang fish. What are you thinking about this lake? I don't know if I like it. See these tumbleweeds? These tumbleweeds go about 15 feet down in the water, so you're snagging a lot. So you gotta fish weedless and I think there's a bunch of crappie down there and they're not biting anything. Yeah, so if I had to guess, the water's probably jumped up 15, 20 feet in the last couple weeks. And like you are saying, all those tumbleweeds down there, they're all down on the bottom, like 15 to 20 feet just everywhere. So it's kind of hard fishing. We're gonna go back to Bass Lake soon or something? <laughs> uh, it's already two o'clock. Oh, so man. we, we kind of committed here. And they are saying that the bass were the size of Volkswagen buses here, so I was hoping to get on one and break the world record. <laughs> but as of right now, I'd rather be at home fishing in my pool. <laughs> yeah, so we've been talking quite a bit about the massive flooding out here in like central California. Now this is out by like the Fresno area, Merced area. And to be honest, I'm surprised that this lake hasn't just completely filled up. Some of the towns not too far from here are the ones that were just absolutely devastated by floods and stuff. That's pretty interesting. I'm sure that it's projected to fill. I wouldn't be surprised if they've been releasing a lot of water out of the dam, expecting water to come in. Cause you can see on the edges here, there's all kinds of debris and logs and branches and everything that probably came into the lake from flooding not too long ago. You can see all this debris in the water, all the logs and sticks and everything. And it actually looks like the water has gone down about two, three feet since that happened. But a lot of the, the lakes out here in California are looking pretty healthy in terms of the future because there's so much snow, these rivers are running so heavy that they're projected to fill up. But I'm not too familiar with this lake. This one was kind of just a random, let's come stop by here because we want to check out some of the lakes out here and uh, see if we can catch some fish, but it's not looking very good. We will definitely not get skunked though. We're gonna catch a fish and then we'll probably get out of here. You gonna put some money on that one? <laughs> no skunk. All right. But these beautiful hills out here in California, the scenery is amazing. Out by Bass Lake, up in the high elevations. Well, it's not really high. When we're hunting out in Nevada, it's barren desert, but it's 6,000 foot elevation. Out here, 3,000 foot elevation, and you're up in the tall pine trees and redwoods and stuff like that. Right when I said I wasn't gonna let this lake skunk us. <laughs> yep. You totally redeemed yourself. And he's a fat boy too. Yep, that was just on a good old black and blue jig. Yeah, not special. I dyed the tips red. Yeah. Bit it pretty pretty good too, just on the sink. Pretty aggressive bite. Man, he's got sharp teeth. Really sharp teeth. They must be eating bait fish I or like something. Look how fat that belly is. Yeah, oh, look yeah. at that belly. This must be a female getting ready to lay eggs or something. Yeah. That's only probably about two pound fish on two and a half, maybe two and a quarter. Perfect. Do you want a picture? Or are you good? Nah, it's not that big. I mean, right. Just a little guy. Oop. Oh, it's going super bad. There we go. And it's off. No skunk. No skunk today. It was tough fishing though. There's not a lot of fish biting. We're calling it from Hensley Lake today. Uh, fishing wasn't great. We got one fish. I don't know. Maybe the sunny weather or something had to do with it, but water was 59 degrees, fairly warm. And uh, they just weren't biting fish deep, fish shallow, tried everything out. We got our one fish. Interesting lake, nothing super crazy. One thing is the dam they used to build this lake is super long. So we 
got off the water and they're hooking it up already. Yeah, already got some of the family cooking up the fish we caught the other day. Got some flour mix going. Mm -mm. This is all the trout. Looks delicious too. So you guys been in here working hard on this? She has. She's the family cooker. Wow. Are you going to eat some? I'm going to eat it all. Perfect. Oh, look. You don't have an apron. You gotta improvise. What piece do you want? I don't care, just grab one. That's fine. A nice pink one. Mm -hmm. That one and that one. You want this one? Yeah, that one and that one. That's good. Well, that has to officially be the weirdest crappie I've ever seen someone catch. Suspended in about 35 feet. This is about 35 feet of water, and he was what, maybe 5 feet deep? Suspended? Yeah. Oh man, it's pretty cold out here, but we're catching fish. What we're doing is literally just trolling around about 15 foot of water with our live scope and we can actually see these trout swimming around. I'm over here, I've been bass fishing the whole time, looking for those big five, six, seven pound bass, which you know, they may come, they may not come, but um, Senior's out fishing me enough now that I'm gonna go ahead and switch to what he's fishing with just to <laughs> catch the multi-species for a little bit, the trout crappie and little bass and stuff but is that a senko i you, just took a piece the of senko. the senko <laughs> it's a small worm it don't matter small plastic darker colors are working better right now the water's so cold that even for the bass fishing you know you don't need a whole lot of movement you don't want a whole lot of movement like you would during the summer with like a lizard or brush hog or whatever but uh, right now pretty much just the simplest stuff is working and uh it's been killing it on the trout too believe it or not all right guys, well we're over here killing the trout. We're trying to catch bass and catching a bunch of bycatch with these trout. All right, there they are. Beautiful bass. Two big ones of the day. This spot right here is a nice guy. There's about a two and a quarter. Off the girl. The one and only largie of the trip. You had lost a largemouth that was a lot bigger than this guy. Probably a four pounder, man. This guy, he's oh, got yeah. something wrong there. Well, hopefully it heals up and gets better. He's kind of scratched up, beat up. Here we go. Oh yeah, he's good. Bass Lake trip in the books. Definitely some good bass fishing, but we couldn't find the kokanee's this time. Oh well, we're not kokanee fishermen. Never tried it in my life. We just figured we'd give it a shot. It didn't work out this time, but other than that, I mean, the bass fishing was great. And we're gonna get off the water real quick and end up in Lake Mead in no time. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys outdoors.